can't get a soul clap for all the real hustlers. The high the work, you throw the cops rushing up. We running man like hammer, they can't keep up with us. We running man like hammer, they can't keep up with us. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to welcome y'all to Q City World, and today we'll be talking about the 147 division, going from the best division to the worst division. What the f- happened, man? I remember it was a time where you had Kell Brook fighting a fighter like Sean Porter, and you had Keith Thurman sitting in the bleachers watching like, I got next. You feel me? It was a beautiful time in the 147 division. And then Kell Brook beat... Sean Porter, and Kell Brook held the IBF title hostage. I mean, we didn't see that title nowhere in the sights until last year when he fought Earl Spence. This man fought nobody, bro. He got stabbed in the leg, and after that, he didn't fight anybody. And then out of the blue, we couldn't believe it. He decided to fight GGG. We were like, what the hell is going on? So Kell Brook fights GGG, gets his eye broke, and the IBF made him fight his mandatory Earl Spence Jr. I mean, that was a horrible, you know, so I understand why the IBF made Kell Brook come back without even letting his eye heal up. You know what I mean? Give him a light fight before fighting Earl. They made him like, get your ass in the ring. We don't care what you're talking about. We don't care what injury you're going through. We tired of you holding the fucking belt hostage. You feel me? Sean Porter, I guess. I guess Showtime was trying to send Sean Porter up there to, you know what I mean, be like, he got the winner. So he could try to get his belt back. But Sean Porter didn't want no, no parts of that. You know what I mean? After he seen what Earl Spence and Kell Brook did in that ring, he was like, God damn. Them motherfuckers was fighting like two 154 fighters, you know what I mean? Two 160s, you know what I mean? They was going toe-to-toe battling for 11 rounds, you know what I mean? Sean Porter knew that he ain't want no parts of that shit, so he started acting like a Pauli Malignaggi, you know what I mean? Just commentating, you know what I mean? I mean, let's go back. It was a time when Sean Porter was a bully. Sean Porter couldn't even get but down there one fight a year, you know what I mean? He was beating up on little fighters, you know what I mean? Running over motherfuckers like a tractor trailer. You know what I mean? Polly Minaji down there got knocked out the ring like Bernard Hopkins. You know what I mean? Uh, Devin Alexander just couldn't even. He just smothered Devin, Devin Alexander. Adrian Bronner. He beat Adrian Bronner in the ugliest fight i ever seen in my life. I mean, he was a real bully. He was chasing Danny Garcia down. I mean, this motherfucker was a motherfucking bully. I mean, all I thought was he was a big dog. Like, I got respect for him because he a bully. You know what I mean? And your boy Keith Thurman. Don't duck me, son. Don't duck me. You know what I mean? Big tongue ass boy. You know what I mean? This boy was straight up a beast calling out Mayweather. You know what I mean? You know, fighting bums. You know what I mean? Knocking motherfuckers out. One time, Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? Looking at his boy. You know what I mean? But, the, but the, at the end of the day, you feel me? Floyd, after the uh, Adrian Bronner, um, Sean Porter fight, Floyd was there. And he was at the end of the fight. He was with Earl Spence walking around, you know. After Earl Spence put his hands on somebody, he beat the shit out of the nigga. But uh, Floyd was there, and uh, he was like, Keith, I give you a belt. Everybody know what happened. You know what I mean? But ever since then, Keith has disappeared. You feel me? He 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 really don't he stopped coming around for a minute. You feel me? He finally just started coming around again around the the, the Wilder Stevern fight, you know. They put him on the stage with um your boy Earl Spence and he looked real humble, you know. Talking about Earl Spence remind him of him when he was younger. And then since, you know, Floyd left, Keith Thurman was supposed to take over. You know what I mean? Keith Thurman was supposed to take over. But since then, Keith Thurman been fighting one fight a year. Got in an imaginary car accident. You feel me? Took him a long time before he even made um, Sean Porter fight. Then uh, he it took him a year later. He fought um, Danny Garcia. And now, a year and a half later, he coming back, and he get to fight a warm-up fight. You feel me? And that's some bullshit. You feel me? Just because how they took Rigadile belts from him, 
You know what I mean? And how they made Kell Brook come back and fight Earl Spence after an eye injury. Why shouldn't Keith Thurman next fight be against the number one contender? Or against Sean Porter or Danny Garcia. If they want to ever make that rematch, they should make that fight next. He don't need a fucking warm-up fight. You know what I mean? You can't take a year and a half off and talk about you want a warm-up fight. Last time I seen him on an interview, it's like he had some duct tape wrapped around his arm with a brace or some shit. I mean, the dude is full of shit, man. I mean, that injury can't be that fucking high, bro. You know what I mean? It's just like this, man. You're a horrible champion, and you're destroying the 147 division. Simple as, man. That's to let Earl Spence go ahead and fight and win and go undisputed in the 147 division. Let him go ahead and do it. So after he do that, he can fucking leave and go to 154 division. Because he feel like, why the fuck, I'm going to go to 154 and I'm still making 147 easy. You feel me? Easy money. You know what I mean? And he doing right. Because all he did was show us the real. All that Keith Thurman, ducking me, son. Ducking me, you better stop ducking. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Look, yeah, all that shit dead. Now you the OG, huh? You, like, like my boy Earl said. Boy, you don't, you ain't no big draw to no fight. You don't, you don't, fighters don't make five million because they fought you. You know what I mean? You ain't no pay per view stop. On the real, just to keep it honest with you, I think Earl Spence did more than you did in the one forty seven division. You feel me? Earl Spence beat the fighter. One of your biggest fights was against Sean Porter. Who beat Sean Porter? Kell Brook. Who beat the dude? Who beat the dude that? was one of your hardest fights. Earl Spence, he beat Kell Brook. You feel me? All right. You say Danny Garcia was the next big fight you made. Who beat the dude or gave Danny Garcia a run for his money? Lamont Peterson. And your boy Earl Spence just ran through Lamont Peterson. You feel me? So I'm saying at the end of the day, Lamont Peterson was, you know what I mean, a good win for um, Earl Spence. And Kell Brook was a big win for Earl Spence. So at the end of the day, I can't say Keith Thurman is the top welterweight. In my eyes, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think Earl Spence is the top welterweight after he beat Lamont Peterson. You feel me? Because Danny Garcia, after the fight with Lamont Peterson, it looked to me like he said you really won the fight. But I don't know. You know what I mean? It just looked like that to me. You know? And I think Earl Spence will run through Danny Garcia. So let's see if Danny Garcia gonna call out Earl Spence after he fight look, after he fight Brandon Rios, which I know he's not because they are chasing the one and only ponytail, pooty tang looking ass boy. I mean, and then we got Terrence Crawford. You know, Terrence Crawford got to fight Jeff Horn. We got to see how he handled this 147 division. Is he gonna just run through Jeff Horn? You know what I mean? But he got to run through Jeff Horn for us to even say he's ready to fight. Earl Spence, you feel me? And you know, that's Bob Arum, top guy. Bob Arum don't have a lot of fighters. So, let's be honest with ourselves. Who would he fight first if he did deal with Al Heyman? He's not going to fight Earl Spence. I mean, why would he put his top guy in the ring against Earl Spence when he could fight Danny Garcia and make money off of him? He could fight Keith Thurman and make money off of him and then fight Earl Spence. Because fuck around, you'll probably see... The Terrence Crawford versus Keith Thurman fight before you see the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. And I'm sitting back thinking, like, who is Earl Spence going to fight in his next two fights if he's going to fight three fights this year? And I really can't think of no fighters that's going to fight him. You feel me? I mean, Sean Porter didn't even break his hand, bro. We thought he broke his hand. Dude, just fractured his hand, bro. I mean... And he over here acting like he broke his hand, bro. If he would have did that shit in the second round, bro, he would have lost that fight, guaranteed. And he didn't even break his shit, so I don't want to hear none of that shit y'all talking about. About the fight is supposed to be Warriors. I mean, everybody handle injuries different, man. You feel me? Everybody handle injuries different. You know what I mean? You got motherfucker Lennox Lewis telling Wilder that he he wrong for saying he better than Tyson. Man, Tyson admitted to using drugs and everything, bro. Steroids and everything. Tyson quitting fights and everything, bro. So what? Why to say he better than him? He supposed to say he better than him, man. I'm tired of all this, man. Hey, Tyson don't respect motherfucking Wilder. Shit, 
So what are you going to do? You got, hey, you can't respect people that don't respect you, bro. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, Wilder right for saying what the fuck he want to say. He been knocking motherfuckers out, man. Tyson was good when he had a certain trainer. Tyson started getting whacked, and Tyson was fighting a lot of bombs. Every time he fought top competition, he got his ass whooped and wiped. Like, toilet in the ass, man. Diarrhea-looking ass, boy. You know what I mean? But let's go on, move on back to the welterweight division, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, Keith Thurman, you got that O. You say you ain't afraid to let it go. Well, it's time for your ass to let the motherfucker go. You know what I mean? So Earl can move on to 154. I know that shit rhyme. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I ain't trying to rhyme. I'm just trying to tell you the truth, my brother. I mean, you're killing the vision. You're killing your own spirit. You're killing your own hype. Your boy Canelo lost 150, lost the fight before, and he's still that guy. I mean, so just fight the top guy. Get it over with. You know what I mean? Pay your mandatory off. You know what I mean? If you're going to come back and fight a soft fight after taking a year and a half off, you know what I mean? That shit is some weirdo shit, but we're going to let you slide. But at the end of the day, it's time for you to get back in the ring, fight your little bum fight, and then it's time for you to fight Earl right away. You know, no excuses, but I know you got excuses. Well, you took about a year and a half off, so yeah, now yeah, yeah, now it's time to fight your mandatories. You know what I mean? If you would have fought last year, at least two fights, but you said you couldn't, you know what I mean? Because you ain't knocking niggas out no more because you say your elbow fucked up. But at the end of the day, if you would have fought, I mean, bro, you tripping, bro. I don't understand it, man. I, see, I can understand you fighting one fight, and then you can be like, yeah, I'm going to hold it back. I mean, why, be undisputed, man. You about to retire soon. I could tell. You don't got it in you anymore. Why not go for the gusto? But I guess you don't want to do that. You know, so. Uh, it's boring talking about the 147 division now. You know, it's killing my killing my spirit. I'm about to go completely heavyweight on this channel, man. You know what I mean? Uh, it wasn't even no point of doing the uh, Earl Spence um, post-fight review because uh, I damn near did it earlier. You know what I mean? I did it earlier. Uh, a lot of shit that's going on right now in boxing, I talked about um, three, four, five, six months ago. You know what I mean? So um, it's really nothing really to talk about, you know. Um, but uh, I'm going to get back into it, man. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, y'all need to let Earl Spence go ahead and become untouchable. Got a love for getting dope. Getting dope. Fuck the shine. I'd rather live on a low. On a low. Side, but all I know is the low go. The low go. Street city. I stay to stay like a hobo. Like a hobo. I like bitches and rap stars and homo. I got a rap. I can't listen to them no more. No. I gotta make music. Hustlers live for. They live for. I'm in the streets while you peep out the window. The window. Standing out though. Blowing some endo.